Hello and welcome to Two Guys on the Couch. As always, I am your host, Danny G. Here with me is, uh, what was her name? Obviously, with me is my brother, Buttface. Dude, I'm just trying to you always do that. Uh, it's my brother, uh, Tim. Uh, today we are reviewing a classic. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. so rich, and it is a documentary. It is, it is. The title is The Life of Matt. Oh, such a good movie, Dan. Uh, definitely one of my all-time favorites. One of my all-time favorites. It's not one of your, it's not your number one favorite? Uh, bro, have you seen Pulp Fiction? You're right. Yeah, no, if I had to rank them, uh, number one, Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. Number two, Life of Matt. That's pretty good. Well, uh, oh shoot, uh, then there's, uh, there's Fight Club. Alright, alright, no, this one. Pulp Fiction, mm -hmm. Fight Club, Life of Matt. Top three. The top, top three. three made the that's top really three. good. So that's that really says good. something. Oh, Dan, this this documentary is a little older, right? Came out uh what late late eighties or yeah, uh, nineteen eighty six. Eighty um, six. A great year. Oh, great. what a year for a movie to come out. I mean, there was uh, tell tell me what happened in in uh, in eighty six, Dan. Yeah, uh, eighty six. Tons of tons of vital stuff. Uh, right. Ray, right. Uh, I, well, you were you're closer to eighty six than I am. So do you right, know? right. So, the, um, uh, Ray, Ray, Reagan, Reagan was, was Raymond. Every every love everyone loves Raymond uh, was nineties. Reagan, Reagan was president. Reagan, um, Reaganomics happened. Yeah. So uh, yeah. That. So this movie. Uh, started production in uh, 1986, yes. and what a great year! Oh, uh, Top Gun! Top Gun Top came Gun. out that and year. I totally forgot about Top Gun. That right. was a good move. I'm not to totally re redo this list. That's all right. Okay, all right. Pulp Fiction. Uh huh. Fight Club. Right. Top Gun. Mm -hmm. Life of Matt. Slash. Big Lebowski. There, there could be either or. Kind of number four there. So. If we're being yeah. honest, Life of Matt is probably at five now. Five. No, Dan. Who who directed this movie again? Ninety six. Um, I believe it was Ah Rick and Cynthia Gaylord, the famous directing duo. Great, They're... great directors. Mm -hmm. uh, I That's for I sure. personally worked quite extensively with them, as have you. Yeah. Right. A great. little bit. No, the, but uh, great directing style. Uh, love love their take on directing. I don't necessarily agree with their take on letting cast members uh, take out their motor vehicles when they're not there, uh, in particular their boat. Right. Uh, no, I would love to work with them more in the future. Yeah. Uh, strict curfews with their actors as well. They do. Um, but, you know, you have to get over that. Each director has their own style. That's but fine. I would love to work with them as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. Great directors. Let's, uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes, though, of the story. Let's sure. Get, let's get sure. Let's add it. some gravy about. to those meat and potatoes. Yeah. Plot synopsis. So this movie is everything. Mm -hmm. um, it is an action movie. Mm -hmm. It is a comedy. Mm -hmm. It is a sports movie. Oh, so we learned movie. so many things here. I mean, this this movie, uh, the, the sports section was just such an inspiration. I mean, it, it inspired me to play football. Right. Uh, I, I played lacrosse because because of it. Mm -hmm. um, I wrestled because of it. Uh, which turned out to be a terrible option, by the way. I don't recommend uh, wrestling to anyone. That was just awful. So many lessons learned, right? right? I mean, exactly. uh, uh, learning how to play sports. Uh, this movie taught me how to drive a stick shift. Um, talking to girls. Uh, well, I, I learned that one on my own. Uh, the movie didn't help, but it right. inspired me to go learn that, right? right. I mean, the the character of Matt was never strong at that. That's why, right. through his, his right. adversity, but, that's why you learned to overcame talk it. it. Yeah, and that's that's. Well, what about you? You learned anything from? Yeah, the movie? Um, I learned uh, when running uh, from your uh, older siblings who want to beat you up. I learned that mm -hmm. the best hiding pla place is the cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, brothers are pers persistent though. 
So I also learned that you can survive uh, three days without food or water. That was a, that was a good point. So good, good to know. But yeah, so many lessons learned. We would not be who we are today if, if not for everything this movie has taught us, right? What about that uh, stupid goatee you had uh, freshman year of college? You learned that from the movie? I swear to <laughs> And we're back. And moving on. Hey boys, I'm home. Dan, what happened? I fell. He fell. Hard. I laughed. I, uh, I cried. I cried a lot. Uh, this movie would spontaneously just beat me up whenever I watched it, physically. Is that where you got that from? But we're also forgetting another thing that this movie is. A romance. A romance. This is, this is the story of uh, Matt Gaylord, played by Patrick Swayze. Obviously. And uh, he's Obviously. chasing after uh, the girl. Uh, her name is Heather Bopel. Right. Played by Heather Bopel. And it's uh, just about their wacky adventures. Uh, uh, Matt in the movie also has two brothers, uh, Tim and Dan. They come in the mix. They're wacky characters. Uh, but yeah, but that's not what the story's about. No, no. It's, it's about, about the romance. The romance. As, as the audience, we're really rooting for this couple to make it the whole way. And really rooting for Heather. Oh, yeah. Uh, because Matt, Matt tests her a couple times. And she responds. Oh, Actually, she to see if she was the one, mm -hmm. Matt makes her water ski. And, right, uh, right. A tough task, okay. but through okay. thick and thin, uh, through lots of falls uh, to the face, on the face. Yeah. Face. <laughs> right to the face. Uh, she, she makes it, it and thank oh God goodness, she does goodness. because if she didn't make the, it, the brothers, they would have never accepted no, her. No, no. But but she crushed it. Oh, she absolutely so nailed good. it. And, good for her. And, yeah. Oh man, I made the mistake of watching this movie with mom, and through the entire movie, she was like, Tim, Tim, when are they gonna get married? And I'm like, <laughs> Mom, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, let's, watch let's, the movie. let's keep watching, and finally, at the end, they get married, and we're like, yes, yes thank, God. thank God, finally. But overall, uh, what made this documentary so amazing was that uh, it kept you guessing. Uh, I mean, just when you thought you knew what was happening, and, and just when you thought it was climaxing, boom, plot twist. Remember that one that one scene in the movie where, where Matt, uh, the main character, was like, Hey, uh, I'm a successful senior biomedical engineer with a great gal in a great city. But now I think I'll attend Duke Business School because I'm bored, you know? Yeah, or, 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 the, or that Crazy. time where he's, he had all that money he saved up and he's like, I'm thinking of buying a new car. Right, right. And then he goes and he's like, whoop, oops, bought a new boat. New boat. That can drive on land, right? It can't? But anyway, uh, there's something to be said about Matt's dancing in the movie. Man, this guy can oh. certainly, oh he can so groove. Uh, so John Travolta, take a seat. But I've noticed, when the number of mojitos consumed increases, so does his level of smoothness. Mm -hmm. It's a That's direct true. correlation, yeah. linear graph. And it's, it's magical. For anyone who's seen it, if you have seen it, it's one time I was watching Matt dance and uh, I felt as if I was floating above my own body. Uh, and it was the first time that, that uh, Prince made sense to me. Okay, so final verdict on this movie. Uh, we're going to rate it on a scale of... Uh, zero to four stars. Right. And how about, let's say, on three, let's say our rating. I think it's going to be in the same. Yeah. You're on the same page during the interview, so you can do it. So now our final rating for the life of Matt. You yeah. ready? You ready. Three, two, one. Four stars. stars. Four stars. But in all seriousness, the life of Matt is a four out of four star without movie. Without, without one of the without. best. We would not be who we are today without this movie. Uh, so thank you, Life of Matt. Um, definitely, definitely one of the, the best movies ever made, ever made.
Avatar. I forgot oh, about yeah. Avatar. And Citizen Kane. Oh in my the goodness. Place. I'm going to have to redo this. Saving this Private Ryan. Ryan. Point Break? That's an, yeah, that, that beats. With, you know, mean, now that I think about it, Life of Man doesn't even break the top I mean, 25. It was, it was good, but there are so many good movies out there. Yeah, that are much better than yeah. it. Yeah.